I watch some YouTube videos about ray tracers, and a lot of them seem to have a common issue. Random pitch black pixels that accumulate in mostly dark areas. Ray tracing works by shooting out rays from the camera and making them sort of bounce around the scene collecting color until they hit a light source. And from what I understand, if they don't hit a light source, either because their number of bounces ran out or because they flew off into the void, you kinda don't know what to color the pixel associated with that ray, so it stays black. This results in noise that looks like this. Dark regions of the image get more corrupted and lighter regions less. One solution would be to just cast more and more rays until the image looks decent, though your GPU won't like it. Another is to average the result over multiple previous frames, so when you're standing still the image will get better over a few seconds. And of course, there are the duct tape solutions that usually work by doing some kind of fancy blurring. That's what I'll be doing in this video. Crappy Aliens is a theoretical model about how alien species would divide territory between themselves. Basically, each civilization starts on their home planet and expands out at a certain speed. When two expanding civilizations' borders collide, they don't go expanding into the enemy territory because that might lead to some funny even line moments. What I'm saying is, what if I make a denoiser that does the same for pixels on a corrupted image from a ray tracing engine? One way to code it is to make a function that takes in an image and returns that same image. But now each non-black pixel infects its neighbors with its own color. I will call that operation a bloom. That's how the horrifically unoptimized first version looks like. To test how it works though, I will need to get my hands on some noisy images. I don't know Blender, or any other 3D modeling in general, so I will just make my own function to approximate noise like that. And now we can finally test the denoiser. Unfortunately, as I said, it's very slow and also looks kinda bad. This time lapse took me like an hour to complete. The performance issues are caused by the bloom function running a Python loop over every pixel in the image then checking with the python if statement what color the surrounding pixels are, a language that can be left in the dust by scratch. Luckily, in computer graphics, operations that loop over every single pixel in an image are very common, and were optimized over a lot of years. One of these heavily optimized operations is called the convolution. I won't explain exactly what it does here, but neither does it really matter. So if I can find a way to blame that python loop on a convolution, which will be running on the GPU, the speed will be way better. That's how the improved function looks like. And although I didn't get it just right, I think it should be good enough. The look of the images is even worse now. But at least, what takes hours, now takes only microseconds. Alright, with performance out of the way, I can actually try improving the algorithm itself. So I came up with this. The simple explanation is that it takes in the image and detects all the black parts that need to be denoised. Then it takes another version of the image and blurs it. After which taking only the parts of the blurred image that also align with the black pixels of the original image. And then adding the blurred part to the original image. Repeat that until the image looks somewhat good. Of course this is just an equivalent to the real algorithm, but close enough.
Before you ask, this thing can differentiate between natural black pixels in the image that are supposed to be there and noise black pixels that need to be denoised because when I'm creating the noise, I save the pixels that are marked for denoising. Although this would still be very easy to recreate if I had a real ray tracing engine. Of course, as you saw, it's not perfect. Parts of the image that should be darker are lightened up. And obviously some dark areas become very blurry. I even had this accident where the chairs in the bottom right of this image were dark enough where they were pretty much fully covered up by the noise. And the denoiser did a pretty fine job removing them if you ask me. I also don't know how useful it is, as ray tracing's biggest performance eaters are the actual ray intersection calculations and processing stuff like semi-transparent objects. I didn't really look into how existing algorithms work, so I might just be reinventing some useless 50 year old algorithm that has been completely abandoned, who knows. But here are some comparisons from Nvidia research papers and showcases. Now, what took 2 months to make a denoiser? I was actually working on making an AI to play Ultra Kill, but it got so bad that I'm starting to blame cosmic rays hitting my GPU. So just to conserve my sanity, I thought maybe taking a break from it to make this denoiser was worth it. Anyways, code for this is on GitHub, and the link is in the description.